Hello and welcome to this training tutorial. This video will cover measuring some features on the test piece. Okay, first here we're just going to switch on the air, drives and the joystick. Just going to choose a probe from this shortcut. Two millimeter ball, that's the one. Okay, so the machine's going to change rack to pick out this stylus. I'm going to click on plane from this menu. Okay, I'll take four points on this plane. Okay, on a fourth point we should see some form error. There we go. Let's set this as a reference and OK. Next I'm going to choose a circle and measure it with a joystick. Again, four points. Not too concerned where they are because I'm going to modify the points afterwards. Okay, so this is the plane number it's projected into. We look at this form here. We change it to eight points. Also going to change the depth or penetration. And because I'm using a template, I need to change this over and make. Also want this as a reference. And OK. Finally, I need to do my um, rotation. Well, I'll just check I've got eight points on here. I can see the probe moves displayed with this button pushed down. Turn it off again. Okay, so my rotation will be a constructed line through two circles. I'm going to modify this to be 1.5 millimeters deep. Still four points, but they're decreased space now. Make Generate to move. So you can see I have a depth of 1.5 millimeters in Z. Okay. I'll we'll choose line from the menu, this icon for construct, and select each feature. Got the option of different features. This construction, set reference, and okay. Okay, so on the test piece we have a repeated pattern, so I'm going to use a ring array and copy this circle. Also going to copy this constructed line. Click on the arrow for next. Choose a center feature, which is the center of rotation for those features. Also check the number of items. There we go, got the six holes. But you notice one on the um, test piece is a slot, so this hole is technically incorrect. But I'm just going to change the start and end angle so it measures an arc rather than a full circle. So I'll start just past the 90 degree mark and finish just short of the 90 degrees from the other side. And use template and make. And you see the graphics are updated to represent where it will probe. Okay, next I'm going to measure the profile, so I'll choose line. And probe the points with the joystick. And OK. Right, I'm going to use a feature predict mode. So this is a memory button. So I want the memory on and the wand across the top hat, which means feature predict is active. So I don't need to choose a feature, I just need to measure either a line, circle, or a plane. So I'm just going to measure the front edge as a line. This appears on the third point. So I don't OK this, I'll carry on around the corner, rub the next edge. And the graphics will build up as I go. Get the clanking sound because that point does not fit the previous line, so it knows it's on a new feature. It's going to measure the diagonal line. Okay. I'm going to go on and finish the slot now. That was just made up of two lines in a circle, so we don't actually have a slot measure function. Mm -hmm. 
So you notice at this stage there's absolutely no clicking of features, it's all just probing with the joystick. Okay, also going to measure the cone that's in the face. Now because I'm not defining the, dire the direction, I need to specify at what level I'm taking the points. So I need to take four points, or at least four points at one depth. And click across to this side to signify I've changed the depth. That completes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.